Hello everyone, and welcome back to the scavenger run, and oh yeah, there's ghouls over there, aren't there? Okay, we've got some ghouls over that way. Last time we did, um, the whole lying low questline and all of that good stuff. This time, we're just back to, you know, general adventuring, and... Oh, I was gonna say, to kick things off, let's headshot that ghoul over there. But no, let's... Let's land a body shot eventually on that ghoul. Then let's... Try and... No, switch! It doesn't let you switch weapons whilst reloading. Which I really don't like. That's something you have to do in, like, if you play a competitive shooter, you will have to do that if you want to win a gunfight. But in this game, it's like, nah, 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 you don't need to do that. Why would you need to do that at all? I'm pretty sure the Wendigo's kicking about somewhere there. So maybe we actually just leave it. Maybe that's the best thing to do, and... Really, Scooby? Okay, I I dog sit whilst I do these things. Because we've got a dog. And he's decided, now that I've started recording, he doesn't want to stay in bed. And he's wondering, why is the door shut, Sarge? Sarge, why have you shut the door? Is it to make the audio sound better? We're not having that. I'll just jump off the bed and clamber over to it. At any second now, he's going to start scratching at it. So I guess I'll deal with him and then be back with you guys. Alright, Scooby has been let out. And now I'm just going to explore around the ash heap a little bit. Because, well, we did a bunch of questing last time. This time, I say we just explore, try and kill things, shoot some stuff, all the basics really. That's all we're doing here. A nice, casual, relaxed episode where I try and just get some XP here and there and just discover some new locations. Because it'd be good to have a lot of other places on the map. Here we go, first little location, Widow's Perch. Well, we've got mole rats we can kill. Isn't that fun? Yeah, um, would love slightly faster reload speed on that, but, man, I like this shotgun. This shotgun is pretty decent, like, I can definitely get by with using this. Oh, a Molotov cocktails and a baseball grenade, oh sweet, that is, that is surprisingly nice to see. There's also a fusion core, uh, let's... Let's see... So at 75. Okay, I don't need a fusion core that badly. I, I want to, like, get a few so I can use power armor, but at the same time it's kind of like, do I really need them? How worthwhile is it going to be? Like, honestly, it's it's probably not going to help me much. Okay, there's also mutt chops. You know what? I'm going to eat some mutt chops. I never have, like, proper fancy food that's actually, like, Human food, not human food, that'd be flesh. Y you know what I mean, actual cooked meat. I'm, I'm always eating canned stuff on this character, so let's have some tasty, tasty mutt chops. Because, I mean, I can't cook anything myself, so why not? I've realised what I should probably be doing is looking for, like, a train station. Somewhere with a uh, stash box that I can store away some stuff in. Because I've actually got quite a lot of stuff to be stored that I can't deal with right now. It's like I've got that Furious Hand made for level 45, which uh, honestly probably isn't going to be that great, but I kind of want to keep it just because, ugh, oh, Furious Hand made is really quite good. Like, even at one star, it's pretty decent. So I do just kind of want to keep hold of it and use it if I get the chance. Okay, and there's also a whole bunch of Scorched here, which is perfect. So as we know, Scorched have ammo and weapons on them. So even if I don't pick up any of the weapons here, they've got a whole bunch of different bits of ammo I can just pick up and be like, sweet, that is all good. And I don't need to head inside Riverside Manor. There's just a few more Scorched to kill, nothing actually interesting in there for me right now. So instead, let's keep heading north. Yeah, let's head north. There'll be, if we head up this road, we'll head over to Charleston eventually. Could always go to the train station there. Because, wait, that's Charleston. Isn't it just going to be on the other side? Like the other side of that. Where? Yeah, so that's the Capitol building. Then, oh, it's it's right over on the other side, isn't it? Charleston train station is surprisingly quite far away. Like, we were there. It would have been much quicker to go to Lewisburg station. Hmm. I thought I haven't got all of the stations on the map. For some reason. So, okay, we're going to make our way to a train station at some point, and then we're going to get all of the other ones on the map, because you can literally just click on the board there, 
and it gives them all to you. So I don't know why I haven't done that before. Let's also kill some super mutants whilst we're here. I'm trying to both use up some ammo with this gun and kind of just destroy its condition because it's level 5. You can tell it's not really doing the work anymore. So instead of just being like, oh, I'll just throw it straight away, I'd like to get some decent use out of the Somerset Special before I do that. But it is leaving us very, very soon. So I will need a new weapon to replace it, I suppose. But that will all come with time. Ooh, what the... Okay, there's a Teddy Fear here. There was a point three oh eight casing and... A note. I, I can't read this note. It, it's a note I can't pick up. I thought there might be like another unsolved quest, I say as my voice begins to go. There's a whole bunch of uh, unsolved quests that were added to the game. There's like, I think six of them I've completed with my main character, I want to say. Because four of them are really easy, you just find them in the lying low quest line on the conspiracy board. And then there's a few others just like hidden around the area. So I am keeping my eyes open, because reading like any note at any point could potentially give you just a brand new quest with new unlocks and plans for stuff you have never had before. Mostly mounted heads. Oh wow. There's... Okay, there's a whole bunch of bloke fly over there. Like, probably a good mullet of cocktails worth of them, I'd say. So let's see if we can give that a go. But, oh, we're on a huge dung pile, that's what's going on there. How's that for... Oh, that was a bit short. That was a bit short. Oh no, I still burnt them all. Oh, look at that. All of them dead at once. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. And we also have a bunch of robots. So maybe we just deal with all of these two. And there was one more. Should get me... Okay, three more shots. Easy enough. Let's... Pow. Perfect. I've got two more shots. I kind of want to use them up before I go any further. But that shouldn't be difficult. We literally just need to find an enemy. There'll be tons of them up around there. If need be. Although, maybe we do just head further north. Let's keep heading north. I'm just kind of picking directions, running that way. It's nice to have a character who doesn't have all the locations unlocked. Because obviously on my main, I know everywhere. I've been everywhere. It's There's been like a couple of new locations added with the latest updates and stealth patches and stuff. And whenever that happens, I'm like, oh, wow, that's somewhere that's been added with new content. Because I've explored everywhere on the map, if I see a location which isn't indicated to me as being found out, like, okay, all of them around me on the compass right now I haven't found, then I'll be like, oh, that's somewhere new that's just been added into the game. It's really easy for finding out where you need to go for new content. You just kind of stumble across it and are like, oh, yep, that place is definitely new. Oh, some scorched that I can dome through a window. That's more like it. Come on, I got one more shot. Who's gonna be the lucky recipient of a bullet to the head? You. Boom. There we go. Now I'm going to drop this. Somerset special and... Okay, let's go on to the shotgun. We'll use the shotgun a little bit more. And then I'll switch over to the other shotgun I'm carrying around which has better condition. It is the perfect strategy. I think we can all agree. And, oh, no, no, there we go. Pick up those three bottle caps. Don't want to be missing out on them. There should be more here. More... There. Okay, ignore that first shot that I missed quite poorly, and it's all good. And look at this. There's so much stuff I can't use. But there is a plan for light metal arms, which I'm gonna take. I, I've got into the habit of taking more and more plans, even on my main character when I know them, because player vending is showing up very soon, and I'm just going to have my vending shop basically be a place where people can buy plans at like their standard price. It's like, if I've got spare of a plan, I'm just going to sell it off. It's going to be my whole business model from this point on with 76. It's pretty simple, but I think it'll work. And you know what, let's take some canned coffee. Can't go amiss with a bit of coffee every once in a while, says the Brit who doesn't actually drink coffee. Um, you're 
Just kind of chilling there. Really? Can I... Yeah, jump bash you. Perfect. There we go. And unfortunately none of them have better loot for me, but there's still plenty of stuff I can just pinch from this place. It's a full giddy up buttercup. And there's no point in me taking it. As well as... Oh, toy trucks, wooden blocks. This room has a ridiculous amount of good junk in it. And there's no point in me taking any of it. It's kind of painful to actually be in that room and just know that I'm not picking anything up. It, it, it feels wrong on so many levels. It's horrible. How, game, how could you be so cruel as to force me into this challenge mode? Which is entirely self-inflicted. Now, there's... Okay, there is one more kicking about. And I don't know where it is. And it's really bugging me. Because I just want to kill this one person, then drop my shotgun, and be on my way. But they're just... There we go! They were just making so much noise, and weren't actually moving. It was... Annoying. Anyway, that's about all done. I'm gonna search some stuff and then ditch the shotgun. Alrighty, here we have one of the cooler looking locations in Fallout 76, which also houses a whole bunch of Scorch we can kill, which is, what is the name of this? Man, I can't remember the names of places. I'm really not that great at it. New Gad. New Gad is what it is. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a cool location. There's like this shanty town which the Scorched are all in, and people were living here like after the whole dam got busted up and all of that stuff. There is some actually interesting lore about the raiders and how they were fighting with the people who were trying to defend this place, and how it wasn't just a straight out, oh we're raiders, we're gonna kill you all. It was them being a bit aggressive. Then there was some pushbacks, so and then it was like, cool, we're just going to flood the place, burst the dam, etc, etc. It's... it's cool stuff. Unfortunately, you don't get to see any of it play out, but it's still cool stuff. And somehow it's resulted in a whole bunch of Scorched being here. Which, for me, means a whole bunch of XP. Annoyingly, I didn't get to play as either of my Challenge Run characters during the double XP weekend, which I hope people enjoyed. I most certainly did. I was playing on my main character on the times when I did play, which admittedly wasn't as long as I should have. But that would have been great for stuff like this. Like, the extra XP would not go amiss. Like, part of me is considering occasionally jumping onto to survival mode with these characters for that reason and to possibly get legendary weapons. But then it depends more than anything on just... Ooh, I just got caps... For clearing this place out. Nice. Even though there's definitely still people around. And that was enough XP for a level up. Must have also given me some XP on that. Okay. There you are. Oh, I missed. Okay, let's... That's it. Because this is by far the easier way when they're that close. Cool. And pick up some weapons. There we go. They got a 10 mil pistol. Don't need that right now. Being a little conservative as to what I do pick up. So I also know these enemies aren't particularly strong or high level, so the stuff they have isn't going to be great, although that leather leg I will definitely take, because I have nothing on my leg because it broke. I do, however, have a Sheep Squatch mascot outfit, which I think we can all agree totally suits this character. So let's wear that for a while. That seems fun. It was definitely an enemy or two left, but this place feels surprisingly deserted considering just how big of an area it actually is. Like, all of the enemies seem to be crowded in one section when I was fighting them there, and basically just put on a shooting gallery for me. And everywhere else there's going to be like, maybe one or two people just kicking about, and most of those ran towards me when the firing started, so... Ah, and it looks like someone else might have been here and wiped out some others. That might be why it was quite so empty. Am I... Okay, I'm not taking rads there. Oh, and there is likely the final Scorched. Sorry, buddy. Killed all your friends. Oh, no, there's one more over there. I just saw... I saw a muzzle flash. I could have sworn. It's only out of the corner of my eye, though, so I could have been mistaken. Still, 
Getting a lot of point .308 ammo from this. Which probably means it was a good choice to use that hunting rifle to clear most of them out. Because I've got the ammo back and a little more. Ooh, 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 there's another one. Hi, buddy. Oh, this is a nice little spot. This is what appears to be the highest point in UGAD. And if it wasn't for this dresser being in the way, I could definitely snipe a lot of people from here. Actually, if I can get up. Okay, going to third person. The jumping animation, I know in Fallout 4 at least, was ever so slightly higher in third person than it was in first. So you can actually jump to higher places if you're in third person than if you're in first person, which is kind of weird. One thing I would like to see added into the game, which I'm not sure if they'd be able to do it, would be using your weapons while sat down. Just being able to aim them. So just like, do, 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 move around. Not being able to actually move, but being able to look as far as the chair would take you. So I'd like to just be able to put down a chair in my camp, have my sniper rifle, and shoot things as they approach. And I know that's a sentiment that a lot of other people actually have as well. Because it's just kind of a cool thing that you could do. It's nice and simple. It's a way to spend some time whilst just relaxing, maybe waiting for some beer to brew. Just take a seat on your chair, see an enemy pop up, and just like, oh, better quickly shoot that person. Yeah, that seems good to me. I know in survival mode it would definitely be popular. Just, especially if you've got uh, Sentinel's armor, which reduces damage if you're not moving. Because I know that's one of the like main PvP builds at the moment, is Sentinel's armor and people just kind of standing still and shooting people in bats as they wander by. Because certain things are kind of a bit broken, the combos in survival mode. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's quite a popular one that can be done. Alright, we're very much back in explored territory now, so I think the best thing I can probably do is what I did with my melee character and just head up kind of this area. Because I've not really been north of... Yeah, I've not at all been north of Vault 76. So we're going to head to Vault 76, and we just kind of kind of head up this way and see how things go. So here we back are, outside of Vault 76, just like you would be for the first time, and we're going to immediately turn around and run this way. Because it's often a fun thing to do in games. Just a good way to check how open the open world really is, it's just run the opposite direction from where you're supposed to go and see what happens. Do, do you find quests and activities still? Do you find new locations you can explore freely? What, what goes on? It's always worth having a check to see what happens. Because this way we've got some wild mongrels who I would be more than happy to introduce to my shotgun. Because my shotgun wants new friends. And oh, you just survived that blast of a face. Didn't survive that one though. Okay, there's uh, pipe bolt action isn't going to help me. But a little more ammo and oh, some purified water. I don't need to worry about the food, because man, f the food was surprisingly a lot easier for me to deal with than it could have been. Like I was expecting at some points to have to, you know, eat raw meat and probably get disease from it and stuff. But no, can do. Can do has completely solved that, along with hunger meters that don't actually go down that quickly when you're playing. Like, I'm used to playing with Speed Demon, which makes you like 20% more hungry and thirsty. And nope, on standard play, food and drink isn't a problem. Like Todd Howard said way back at E3, I believe, it's like, it's survival light. Like, you're not going to have to worry about the meters and stuff too much. There's just like some added elements to the game. And that all being said, actually, we've got nuclear winter coming in, like, a number of weeks, or possibly months. We don't actually know when it is, but it's the next set of updates. Because we're drawing close to the end of Wild Appalachia. Or Wild Appalachia. I still don't know how to pronounce that properly. I've been told several times, I constantly forget. But yeah, we're drawing close to the end of that. So it's going to be interesting to see what nuclear winter brings. I personally am hoping it's going to be, like, a more hardcore survival mode. Not, like survival survival mode where it's all pvp focused but something where the actual environment is made a lot tougher and it's a lot easier to die from like hunger and thirst and things like that instead of it just being either adventure mode where everything's pretty happy-go-lucky or survival mode where pvp and if you run into a griefer then you might just die over and over again i'd actually like for the game to be kind of difficult in and of its own right, 
without need for external forces. And I'm also going to check if I've got a treasure map, because is this, this is going to be the farm. Okay, so the left wing of this plane, there it is. There's the, is, is that the mound? That looks like it's the mound for the treasure map, which I don't have. Okay, I was going to try and use a treasure map there, but it appears we don't have one. So that's not going to happen. Instead, let's just wander along and see what we can kill. There's nothing here. Instead, let's level up, because I'm completely forgetting to do that. And I need to see if we've got... Okay, no new perks there. Modern Renegade sucks. Contractor is no good for this character. Nothing new in Charisma. Nothing new in Endurance. Perception has Ground Pounder, which is nice, but not that great for a character who uses multiple weapons. And Scattershot is tempting, but not that amazing. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to get. Give me a minute and I'll take a look through. Alright, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I've taken a point of agility and I'm actually going to get the colon up perk. Because it's a pretty great perk card for a character who isn't going to be doing much of standard food abilities. Plus that extra point of agility means I can get Born Survivor. Falling below 20% health will automatically use a stim pack once every 20 seconds. What's the additional ranks? Okay, so below 30 or 40%, no. You get the first rank of Born Survivor, you're all good to go pretty much in this game. It's it's really good to have. That or an auto stim like bit of armor, or like the medic pump on the thing. To be honest, neither of those are that great now that there's Born Survivor, which requires one point of agility and is just kind of beast at keeping you alive. Like there's there's a whole bunch of stuff you can use to keep yourself alive really easily. Okie dokie, we have Oh, this is the one that doesn't actually send out supply requisitions, isn't it? I was about to say, we've got somewhere here where I can send a supply requisition, but I'm pretty sure this is the one that doesn't do that. Ooh, some canned dog food on that mole rat, though. That's kind of nice. And it's a locked door as well. Also need to reload, because you need to... Actually, why am I reloading? And I can death tambo you. I should be using the death tambo more often. Okay, I'm going to unlock... I'm going to break some lockpicks. I am going to unlock this door to double check, but I'm pretty sure this is like the one area marked with the little radio station symbol where you can't actually send anything out. Oh, I'll pick up that snub nosed. Take a look at it. Yeah, there's not a thing which actually lets you do anything. I have a bit of ammo and stuff here. Not entirely wasted on coming in. Alright, we're in Tyler County now, which means it wants me to clear out the dirt trick. Which, I mean, we'll kill a few of the robots whilst we're... Not robots, ghouls whilst we're here, I guess. But it actually wants to go to the fairground, because it's got a bunch of Scorched, who are some of our favourite enemies to kill. And we might be able to find Jangles, who gives us a bunch of caps and experience, which is always nice. Plus, look at this. There's toilets. Who doesn't love a toilet? Toilets are the best. Okay, there's already dead ghouls here. Let's not worry about this place then. Let's just... Just go straight to the fairground over the road. And when I say over the road, I literally mean that's where we were. This is where we are now. It is literally over the road from that place. And yay, there we go. Jangles got lost at the fair. Go find him. We'll totally do that. That sounds like a lot of fun game. Let's go find Jangles. I wonder where he could be. Oh, Nuka Cherry. Capstash. Nuka Cola. First aid box with, yeah, disease cure. And a bunch of stuff I can death tambo. Nice. Let's go and do that, and I think I'm heading the wrong way for jungles. Yeah, here we go. He's, I'm pretty sure he's always in the same place, which is here. Voila. XP, all of that good stuff. Isn't that fun? Oh, there's a pickaxe. Wow. I just unlocked this chem box, and it's got well, five stim packs now. It had four stim packs in originally. That was that was a lot. Oh, the point three oh eight casing is a brown thing. Okay, so that I picked up the casing and Teddy Fear and stuff with that place next to the note, but I couldn't read the note. I feel like that note is supposed to be readable. Like that could be a quest they've added in that nobody knows about because the note isn't readable and Bethesda haven't noticed, but it's not readable. It's quite possible. And oh, Savage Divide treasure map. Totally take that, and going to be over carry capacity in a second. Oh, and come on. Nice. 
Oh, I'm so going to be overcarry capacity. Yep, there we go, over-encumbered. Okay, let's... Oh, but there's so many first aid boxes here. And look at that, there's drugs as well. Oh, and there's great Mentats there. There's Radex, there's so many good drugs. Oh, why do there have to be so many good drugs? Okay, I'm going to sort out my inventory a little bit. And then desperately try and find where I need to go next, because... Boy, oh boy, do I need to sort this out. I've also got a basic syringer. Shouldn't I have... Yeah, I've got Rose's syringer and a basic syringer. I can definitely get rid of that basic syringer. I don't know why I've been carrying that around. That is literally five carry capacity, which I do not need. Alright, instead of having heading any further north, I should probably go east into the Toxic Valley. Because if I head over to Grafton, there's a train station there where I can deal with my carry weight issue... Store a whole bunch of stuff I don't need, and also check if I've got anything which I can use, like, right now. Seeing as I've leveled up a little bit, there might be a couple of things I left in my stash which I didn't realise about. So, let's go and do that. Ooh, it's a couple of Liberators. They haven't even noticed me yet. That was nice. That was just free experience there. That's, that's, that's always good to see. I've also decided we're heading over to this ice cream shop over this way, because we can. It's slightly off-route, we're heading a little further north than was planned, but it's ice cream. Everyone likes ice cream. Ooh, and there's eye bolts and stuff over this way as well. Let's see if we can jump shot them. Nope, they moved. And now they're coming this way. <laughs> that all went wrong. Let's just punch them instead. I missed. This is not going terribly well, but fortunately, that has the blitz effect just innately included. Which makes things a lot easier to deal with. So, let's just... Yep, punch some stuff. We're all good. Oh, sweet, we've got some ghouls to punch as well. There's two of them making out on the stairs, but they appear to have noticed I'm here. One of them's run inside to... Do what? I don't even want to know. And the other one's just confused and feeling a bit embarrassed, so I'm going to punch it in the head. Oh, I think the other one ran around the other way. Nope, there's a bonus one. There was someone peeping on them. That's kind of disgusting. I'll kill you all for that. Terrible people. So, that's all of them dead. And, oh man, oh, empty bottles. I was about to say, wow, this place is really good for booze. If you're doing, like, the biv quests, you'll want to come here. But no, you won't. You won't at all. Oh, and just on the outskirts of this place, there's even more peeping ghouls. Isn't that creepy? Fortunately, they're all dead now. Because deft tambos are just kind of stupidly powerful for some reason. Um, unarmed in general is pretty damn strong. Like, melee, once you get that maxed out, is really strong. But unarmed still seems to be king. It's just like, if you want to beat this game easily, just punch stuff. Even like Scorch Beasts, just wait for them to land, punch them, you win. It's as simple as that. Guns are surprisingly weak in Fallout 76. Like, it was already kind of a case in Fallout 4, I think. But at least in that, there were the occasional enemy on with, like, a fat man and things. So you'd have to sneak up on them. Now it just seems, like, even more so. If you're using guns, you're just not fighting to your full potential. Best thing you can do is walk up and just punch everything. And then you're sorted. Like, because... Okay, what's the damage on this? This is 48 damage. And my double barrel shotgun is 80 damage. Okay, so the double barrel shotgun is slightly less than double damage, despite the fact it's a shotgun, like, insanely strong. Honestly, that's, that's a higher damage difference than I was expecting. But yeah, that's two shots you get with a shotgun, and you have to do the slow reload than with this. You can just punch, 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 punch. So the DPS has got to be higher on this thing overall than it is on the shotgun. Because it's just constant, oh, I don't want to do Dogwood die off, bad game. Okay, I've ignored that quest, and there's a whole bunch of mutants who have popped up. Oh, let's let's completely miss a shot. That's handy. Now let's try and shoot these things a bit, because you have a missile launcher, Mr. Level 22. Super mutant. See, this is why I haven't been to the Toxic Valley before. Some of these things are pretty tough. But you see, that's 46 XP from that guy. If we shoot this brute in the head a fair bit. He'll just shoot at the house, but I have pretty good cover here. 
<laughs> so as long as he doesn't manage to get through the window, we're sorted. Yeah, what are you going to do? That one was close. That one did real damage. How many missiles have you got? Do you actually run out? So I know if you charge them, then they... No, why are you giving me more events, game? I don't need more events. Just let me kill these things right now. Man, Grafton's mayor is a terrible... I was going to say person. I suppose he's not a person because it's 76, but still. I don't want to deal with him right now. But... Whoa! Okay, okay, that one just shot straight through and was a direct hit. Let's, um... <laughs> let's, let's heal up a bit there. Oh, I was not expecting that. I was trying to be quiet because we were doing that thing. Okay, I've killed him now. Yeah, I, I was being quiet waiting for the mayor to get finished. But that was a missile launched straight into the building and hit me. And yeah, that's that's another thing. Unarmed and melee, very strong. Explosives, very weak. Like, that was a missile launcher hitting me full blast. Wait, do you not have a missile launcher anymore? Was it... Did his body land somewhere else? Could have sworn you were the one who just shot me with a missile. Maybe not. Let's pull out this shotgun, because I'm a little scared now. Was it? You've just got a sledgehammer. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing the missile launcher vanished. That's a bit disappointing. I wanted to see if I could at least shoot it. I doubt I can, because I'm only like level 18. But I would have liked to try. Oh. Oh, hi, skirmisher. Okay, there's more enemies just showing up here now. That's interesting. Let's molotov them. See how they like that. One of you still alive. There we go. Both of you are dead. I've got to remember to keep using my throw balls because I keep replenishing them. And they're actually somewhat heavy. So you don't want to be keeping a whole bunch of throw balls with you at all times. Because honestly, it just kind of adds to your overall weight, which is not ideal. Alright, we- oh, you're kidding me. Okay, we've got some anglers to deal with as well. Oh, but they're off fighting other stuff. Nice. Although- oh no, they're fighting super mutants, that is good. Although, for some reason, my hunting rifle is unable to hit them, come on! Oh, and there comes- oh, a bunch of hazards and stuff, and I- I'm going all blurry. I got diseased. Oh, there's an angler. Oh, we got toxic air now. That's not good. Let's... Oh, yeah, let's run through the rads. That seems like a smart move, Sarge. I'm just trying to... No, don't get the damage bug. I'm just trying to flee a bit so that I can deal with these anglers because anglers are very nasty enemies to deal with. No! No! Run and jump, please. Thank you. Okay, let's do that, that, that. The frogs aren't going to help me. Let's just keep running past. Get another grenade up. Okay, this is a good time to use those grenades. Because anglers are somewhat tricky. I don't have... Yep, I don't have another one of those. So it's going to power attack instead. Oh, one of those was definitely a direct hit. But it did nothing. So let's just... Oh, I see more enemies up ahead, I swear. Saw movement. Yeah. Oh, we got rad toads up that way. Okay. We're at the station, which is totally where we need to be. But at the same time, this doesn't help us when we've got anglers trying to kill me constantly. What have I got on that? Okay, let's have some water, some cairn dog food. You know what? Let's take a stim pack. By the time that's all done. I'll have taken more Reload! I'll have taken more damage. And it'll be used more. Because, yeah, this is a whole bunch of anglers just trying to fight me. Which is not ideal by any means. There's just so many of them. And they can stagger a fair bit as well. Sweet, my weapon just repaired itself. That is very good. Oh, there's a level 20. Come help me, level 20. Yeah! Good man. Good man. Thank you. You're the best. Go you. I can't even see your name right now because I'm too busy defending myself here. But yes, thank you for helping me with these anglers. Please don't run away. Please don't run away. That's it. Yeah. Provide some more cover fire. I'll keep them all busy. They won't attack you. See, that one tried to attack you. 
I got it distracted. Okay, a few of them are starting to attack you. I might allow them to do that. But it's entirely they're doing... Wow, I'm running... Lower on shotgun shells now. They're really starting to have an impact. <laughs> I'm very grateful that this person has shown up and decided to help out in the fight. Oh, self-destruct! No, don't self-destruct. That means you had a new card in you. I'd like one of those. It'd be a lot easier than getting myself. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna head over to this thing. Let's see if it's open. Yeah. Let's do that quick. Grab all the stuff. Maybe it'll even explode next to them. I don't know if they fully explode or what when it says self-destruct, so I guess we'll see any second now. And it actually decides to do something. And my shotgun. Yeah, my shotgun's almost at full condition now, thanks to that. Okay, let's pull this out. Let's get some shots off that way. Yeah. Take some... No! Get... Power punched! Yeah, take some punches! Yes! Oh! Give you a heart. Oh, I can't even... Kirator? Kirator, thank you for the help. I know you can't hear me, but I definitely appreciate it. That was a whole bunch of nasty anglers who were a bit much for me to deal with on my own. Like, I probably could have eventually got them down, but that would have taken much, much longer without their help. That's... that's nice. It's real nice having them do that. That was... that was very, very kind, and I appreciate it. I'm trying to work out if I've got anything I could give them, but I don't really think I have. Still, I'm gonna sort out my inventory off camera, but we're gonna leave it there. Bunch of anglers died. Isn't that all good? Everything is fun. We'll probably go into Grafton next time, because there's always a lot of XP to be earned there. But that is it for now. We'll have Kirator in the background there as they're cooking up stuff. It's one of the best things about this game, when you get into a tough fight and someone comes along and help, and you're like, Whoa, total stranger, thank you. That just blew up. We could have used it to defeat the anglers, if worst came to worst. Anyway, that is definitely all for now. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. There's new episodes of this up every single Thursday at the same time, so make sure you're subscribed so you get to watch all of them. And that is all for now. Sarge out.